Hey guys, another beautiful day. We'll do some early fall fishing. All right, Jimmy Sifu today is gonna teach you guys how to figure out what the fish want during this time because it could be very, very tough. All right, what does Sifu means? It means teacher, or a better translation is more like father. Um, instructor. Yeah, it's instructor, father. Sifu is, if you break it down, it's, it's more like instructor and father all together, right? And there's one thing I wanna share with you guys today because I have a guest here, all right? So back in the day, Jimmy always taught people stuff. It didn't have to be fishing. Back then in high school, I taught people how to dance, break dance, some raving, some martial arts, okay? Yeah, keep the bullies from, uh, you know, beating us up, our small Asian folks. Nah, just kidding, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, I have a student right here today, and uh, I'll be quite honest, he's my worst student. <laughs> Out of all my students, you know, but you know what they say? And there's a Chinese saying right here. A teacher a day is father for life, right? So I haven't seen this guy since high school, graduation. He's a, a year younger than me. And so yes, yeah, it's, it's been a long time. Jimmy just had a birthday, I'm almost, almost 40. So you guys do uh, some math, right? But anyway, you can't, you can't blame this guy. Look how good looking this guy is. This is what this guy do, He's the man. right? That, that guy right here, well, I teach people how to do some kung fu and some, some break dance moves. This guy out there is chasing girls <laughs> in the cafeteria, okay? Anyway, today I'm going to teach this guy how to catch some fish on the kayak. Let's get it. All right, this is interesting. You can see that the muck are breaking apart because the water is getting cooler. And uh, you can see there's a lot of smoke out here. That means the air temperature is a lot cooler than the water. When I got in here earlier, it was a lot smokier. Uh, but as the temperature warms up, the air temp, you know, it kind of dissipates. But yeah, you can see the algae is all kind of spreading apart. That's the early fall transition. Uh, there's still a lot of muck, so I think I'm going to start with the frog near the edges and work my way out. And when I work out there, out in the open, I'll probably put a whopper plopper on and see how that goes. All right, lesson number one for Rich today, my buddy, my todai, all right, Sifu Jimbo. is going to show you that this frog is better than a new 10,000 fishing tataki. But anyways guys, let's see what we do today. I actually have the tataki frog on and uh, I'll do some comparisons with you guys. All right, so um, they gave us a bigger frog saying that it cast further. Well, this guy is about the same size, but it's slim. This thing is gonna fly so much further. Anyway, this that tree right there where he's fishing right now, I think it's gonna have a big mondo because that's where Mike last time pulled up his first fish of the day. <laughs> That was pretty cool. But yeah, frogs, you don't have to um, keep still. Like you just walk the dog very quick or just reel it. And this is a dangle style frog. So it did the butt down. And when you twitch it, it actually flops like this, right? So you could walk it, open water, or even fish it in thicker stuff because it pushes down and the fish could actually see it so much easier. So yeah, I'm just gonna work these areas. Kind of like a stick bait, but a wheelless one, right? A dangling stick bait. Get it right to the edges. Wait for that first bite. If there's no bite, then you start twitching. But yeah, I don't want to focus too much in the back area here because they, they could be out there, right? These backwater shallows you cover pretty quick. So um, let me keep casting and then see if we can find some fish back here. If not, like I said, we can head out and open and find some stuff by the rock wall. First thing in the morning, when the sun beats onto the rock wall, it warms up the quickest. So it could bring a lot of fish to that area. Oh, I got hit already. It's a small fish. Yeah, oh, oh no, yeah, it's a small fish. All right, well, we'll try again. Got him! Alright. Woo woo! First fish of the day! Woo woo! See? I knew I'd get him sooner or later. Alright, let's unhook this baddie. Look at that. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Hey, one last look of this guy. Off he goes. All right, see that tree right there, guys? Last time I was fishing with one rod, one reel. The first fish pulled was right there. He basically skipped his uh, Guggen frog underneath there. Guys, 
hit a few times. You guys probably didn't see it because he probably, uh, you know, cut it out. But <laughs> that frog, whoo, I'm telling you, man, missed a lot of bites, man. For me, I, I, I haven't caught one fish using that Guggen frog. Like, this hook sets were pretty terrible. But, um, yeah, man. When he found hooks, hooks up on that guy, he knew that, yo, Jimbo was going to slay with his uh, dangle frogs. So uh, he switched it up and he went fishing a different way rather than, uh, you know, frogging, you know? It was a top water fishing challenge. You guys want to watch that video, you guys watch it top right hand corner. And of course, you guys got to check out his channel too for his, uh, his catches. Once you make the first turn, you can start doing walk the dog kind of on a wall. Enjoy. Oh, ah, got one. Second one on the frog king. I'm telling you, man, this frog is king. None of that Guggen or, you know, catch co stuff. Hook both on the bottom jaw. So let me uh, get him out. Oh, there it goes on one. And get the other one. Come on. There we go. Boom. Boop, boop. Off he goes. All right. That looks sexy right there. You guys can't see the cast. Ooh, laying it right over there. Come on. Got to be one or two fish hiding right by the branch. I mean, there's a bush right there. It's like a home. You know, I just knocked on his door. All right. Yes, no. All right, fine, no. Erosions, man, but they create some nice spots to walk the dog. All right. Look how far that thing goes. Oh, dang, I spooked something right here. Stand up. I got plenty of room right now. What? Yeah! Another one! Dude. Basting it up. It's getting bigger and bigger. All right, guys. I am slaying it with this frog here. So what I'll do is I'm going to switch over to the tataki frog because, like I said, man, sometimes some lures create out there to catch wallets and not fish, right? Or I could do both. You never know. So I have proven this guy is pretty damn good. What? All right, fam. If you guys don't know what this thing is, this is a line counter. And I'm gonna cast this Frog King first. It's 17 grams. Uh, I guess I could convert it to ounces for you guys to uh, see exactly how heavy that is. But it's over a uh, half ounce, just a little bit. So I wanna cast this. Uh, oops, I had a six breaks. Let me do it one more time. Hold up, fast reels for the win. Bring this thing very, very quick. But yeah, what I wanna do is I wanna cast this thing out there and show you guys how far it can go. And then we're gonna swap over to uh, Tataki Frog, do a cast, see how far it goes, because they said they increase the size and weight for, uh, for better castability, right? Well, we gotta see how well that casts. So I wanted something to compare, so I'm just gonna throw this guy here and compare for you guys. Uh, right now I have uh, six breaks, this is, uh, right now I have six breaks on, this is the Tatula Elite, all right? J braid, by the way. And yeah, let's give it a wing. All right, so, and right there, let me um, click that, reset that, put this thing here, and come on. All right, let's start reeling. Measure the distance. Come on. Ooh. Woo, 118 feet. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, so I got the 10,000 tataki frog. As you see, it's pretty bulky. In fact, let me uh, put these two side by side so you guys can see it. All right, I guess I could probably take a photo and you guys can see a lot better. 
But let me do another cast with this and see how far it goes. All right, same brake settings, maybe like an inch less line. All right, that's it right there. Hit the click button and let's reel this baddie in. Under 100 feet, all right? So yeah, man, it's almost 20 feet less. All right, anyway, let's fish this and see how well the hookup ratio uh, is. All right, so this frog casts okay. It doesn't go too far. I mean, for a big frog, I would expect to go a lot further. I guess you could trim it and it will do a lot better. And I'm trying to walk it right now. And here, this, this is what I'll show you. I'll stand up so you guys see it. Does not walk at all. There it goes. Holy crap. Very difficult to walk. Like, if I put on a Z-Man right now, there it goes, it's finally walking. But, sometimes, all right, you gotta, yeah, it's, it's a lot harder, but if you figure out the exact jerk and pause and how much slack line you give it, you get it. So yeah, it's a, I would say it's a difficult frog to walk if you guys are a beginner. Uh, I've been spoiled with uh, good frogs, so it would take some time to walk. So I won't be walking this. I'm just gonna drag it through mats and see what I'll catch. Let's see a random like patch out there. You got a cast to it. It's kind of used as a holding spot, you could say. Look at that, something just hit it and they couldn't take it in. That is because I don't have the good frog. <laughs> when you have silicone legs like that, it's no good. Anyways, see, I'm getting popped right now. Yeah, I still see it floating. Jeez Louise, I'm telling you, man, this frog right here is getting some bites, but it can't even hook up. Yes. Oh, oh, ah! bull crap, man. Bull crap. That's what I'm telling you guys. This thing right here does not set hooks. This is the third fish. This is probably the biggest blow up all morning. Whoa, look at the fast dodging. See? Yo, if that was um if that was uh one rod one reel, he probably got hit. There you go. You set the hook harder, bro. Oh well. Alright folks, been missing a lot of bites. So I'm gonna trim the legs, but before I do so, I'm gonna show you guys one more time how this frog looks like. All right, I will make a, another video indoors so you guys can see it with better quality. I have a few more of these frogs, so we will dissect it, all right? So wait for that review, but the silicone legs is mixed with some mylar. Don't think it's necessary, but it's kind of cool, but now it goes bye-bye. Let me cut that, and uh, I'll probably just cut half of it on one side. All right, because I don't care for these stuff. And then this side, I'm gonna make a little bit longer so it will help on walking. Uneven legs will give it a better walk. All right, just a little bit off. See that? Let's see how this goes. So guys, I have not gotten any bites since leading that one cove area. Rich got two bites using uh, that frog. So I think the frog bite might be dying down or because the sun is a different way, different part of, uh, part of the lake, you know, fish are acting different. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go back towards the main lake and fish certain areas that have um, frogging spots, you know what I'm saying? Or just, you know, general top water spots and see if I could land a fish using this. And then I'm gonna switch to one more frog before I put on uh, back one of my dangle style frogs. Cause I'm telling you, man, so far, 
The hookup ratio of this guy right here, not impressive. Not impressive. Casting distance, it's not too bad distance wise, but for a big frog, I would expect to go a little further. Uh, yeah, man. What do you guys think so far? Leave me a comment below. Oh my gosh. Freaking, I counted it too. I just landed. Got it. Ah. This freaking frog, man. All right, so I got, I ran into four fish. Missed every single one. Terrible frog. I'm telling you, man. You know what? Here, let me put out a different frog. Not even this frog, okay? Because I know this catch. There's so many reasons why this frog is better than this frog, which I'll cover probably like at the end of the video. I'll probably do like an indoor video to go through uh, the differences of why this frog is so much superior than this. But let me put a frog that is sold all over US, you know, the American market, so that we can see how this stacks against other frogs within the US market. All right, so I got the leaf frog Z. I'm gonna throw it for a little bit because the morning bite is gonna die down. But you know, I'll come back to this later on the day. There's a lot of mats, especially with uh, the fall early transition when all these stuff breaks apart. Uh, it's great to throw frogs. I'm dead serious. It's so awesome uh, because it just gives so much top water cover. And uh, if you guys like top water fishing, well, that frog is just about one of the only things you can really throw during this time. Because as you see, I'm at the main part of the lake and there's a lot of stuff floating. So yeah, let me throw this a, a little bit. I am gonna get you guys a measurement in a second. Hold on. Elite Frog Z from Z Man. Come on. This frog does walk out of the box. No need to trim anything. Oh my gosh, so easy. Fucking tataki frog. Uh-uh. Can't walk to save his life until you freaking cripple his leg. I mean. A crippled frog could walk better than a non-crippled frog? Uh-uh, I don't think so. You know, that's not how it's supposed to go. Got some open water right there. And then all of a sudden, we got some cover. Could be a nice spot for some hidden bass. Let's see. Oh, all right. So this frog right here also had a little missy missy. Uh oh. Oh crap, there's a f fish right behind me. I was reeling up. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Huh, very crazy. <laughs> I could have caught a fish behind me trying to reel up the, the frog. All right. Got him, see? Oh yeah, so far this guy is doing good. You know, I missed the first bite, but it's okay. I got him again, same fish. So, you know, I, I, I guess it would count it. All right, Z-Man, whoop whoop. Let's go, Leap Frog Z. All right, let's do a quick cast test. Whoo, that's pretty far. Crank that down, put this sucker in here. Reset, all right. I'm gonna guess like about 100, and, between 100 and 110. Currently, there's no wind. Open water. Not too bad. Perfect for cast testing. And I was right. Look at that. 104, about 10, uh, close to 105. Oh, oh, oh. He missed me, as you saw. And a little bit more. <sighs> Miss me again. Come on. Oh, my frog flew. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Uh, yeah. Small frog. I mean, small fish. I'm telling you, man, the dangle frogs. They're the bomb.com. Even uh, this guy here doesn't really get the hook set. Now I'm tangled up in rod rods. All right. Let's try again. Oops. Oh, 
Got him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okie dokies. Woo. Got him this time. Biggest fish of the day. I bet you. Woo. I bet you that uh, this frog right here could have gotten it too. But, uh, you know, even this frog missed it several, several times. Let me unhook this baddie and uh, oh, 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 oh. off he goes. All right, I'm done with frogging for today. Let's wrap this video up. Hi right, fam, as you saw, the dango frog, frog king, was the king. Oh my gosh, man, this thing caught just about all my fish. This frog here, didn't land one guy. The Z-Man leap frog, you know, I missed some strikes, but I ended up landing it too, you know? And the morning bite is getting a little tough, so, um, I'm gonna go fish something else. But I'm telling you guys, fall fishing, frogging is still good, especially the early transition when you have all these gunk that's breaking apart, it's creating more cover, especially in the shallows now. In the summer times, these thick stuff are so thick, and it's just so hard to set the hook sometimes, or even get the frog to get the lure in its mouth, right? So uh, fall, don't write off frogging until it's done, done, all right? Keep throwing frogs. And um, you know, if you guys have experience with this, let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for a full review because I'm going to break this frog down. I'm going to cut it open too, maybe. I don't, I don't know. You guys leave me a comment below. And sorry for the glare. Um, enough chat because the fish don't wait. You guys know my famous saying, right? The fish don't wait. Seafood Jumbo will continue fishing and catch more fish. Thank you for watching. Tight lines.